In chapter 46 of the book of Jeremiah, we find a prophecy addressed to Egypt. In speaking of his defeat, verse 15 contains an interesting expression. Why was your bull overthrown? They did not stand because the Lord drove them away. The images of the bull and the horn were used in the old Middle East as a symbol of power. Thus the expression of a downed bull referred to the Egyptian fortress that would fall to the ground. However, there is a Greek version of the Old Testament known as the Septuagint, which translate the beginning of verse 15 as, Why did Apis, your sacred bull, flee? The reason for this intriguing translation is that Apis was a sacred bull venerated by the Egyptians at Memphis since ancient times. The custom of representing the fertility gods in the form of a bull was common. It was believed that it was because of the sexual relations between these gods that life was spawned on earth. The rain, for them, was the semen that fell from the god of fertility. Hence, worship of them was often involved in rituals of promiscuity. In chapter 46 of his book, the prophet Jeremiah looks to the future and sees the great power of Egypt knocked down, his armies defeated. So the question arises, where's the protection they thought they had? Unfortunately, it would be in the heat of the war that the Egyptians would find that they were relying on something that could not save them. This is the sad end for those who trust gods who cannot protect them. When the situation is quiet, the false gods are real. But it is in the moment of conflict when the enemies arise that every human being needs a true god, capable of protecting. Nowadays, there are also many gods who promise life, safety, and happiness. How many are followers of the god money or worship god pleasure or bow before the god of fame? But all these are false gods. They cannot fill the deep void in the human heart that only an eternal god can occupy.